Valera versus Jaina. You asked for it. Watch your back. Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here, and welcome to some Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. And today I'm going to show you guys uh, my new rogue deck. Uh, rogue has always been a pretty bad class for me. But with all the new MIGs, I've made a small MIG rogue deck. And uh, well, it's been working pretty decently. It's a lot of fun as well. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Hmm, we could start off with a micro machine right away. That's a obvious, uh, pretty obvious target though. So let's see if Lord Tyranu, the mage, is going to play anything. Meantime, let's... Oh yeah, let's close that one up. And there it comes. Come on, it's your first move. How much uh, time do you need? Jesus Christ. Uh, so I'll start off with the Cog Master. Uh, considering the other drops I have... Ooh, actually a spider tank next would be pretty good. Um, I can bump that one up to like a 3-2 pretty easily. So uh, that's that's actually okay, I think, to open up with this one. And that's been working decently. It's got two hit points, so it's not like she can just uh, fire blast that one away. Yep, there comes the fire blast. So that means I get a 3 damage in right away. Let's see what else drops for me. My Ogre Ninja. So we'll go for a, a strong... Um, a strong mech here first. The spider tank, a 3-4. Uh, allow me to do 3 damage right away. And well, if he wants to do nothing and just use the fire blast, that's fine by me as well. Because I still have a 3-4 on the board. Looks like uh, it's actually a pretty slow player here. Again, looking at my my uh, hero power. What's the use of that? You know what that is. The flying machine. Make it with wind fury. That's pretty cool too if you can pump that one up a little bit. And of course, my ogre ninja looks pretty cool. And yeah, a very slow player here for uh, for this showcase. Come on, show me what you've got. Hmm. Time runs out on me. Come. Oh, how hard can it be now? It's oh my god, all of that just for the fire blast, really? Uh huh. And Hans Umekano, that's pretty good. Honestly, if um, he like plays something, <coughs> and I've got two more on the board, that could be pretty good. So we'll do it. I'll risk that. Um, at some point it's very likely that a flame strike comes out so you do want to press your advantage as quickly as possible um, if he uses a, f uh, a fire blast is it called yeah fire blast on this one that's cool because then he only has two mana left to play with so again it's it's gonna be a hard turn for for our mage I think what am I going to do now what to do what to do yeah exactly um a cone of gold, all right. Delaying things just a little bit. Um, I get, give a minion taunt. I'm gonna drop my Tinker Technician. That becomes a 4-4 four, four and I get freeze a minion or give him taunt. <clears throat> Do I want to give him taunt already? Why not? You know, need, he needs to push through that now. And for my next turn, I get Enhanced Somatic or Ogre Ninja, which are both pretty good drops. This is 7 together. That's okay too. Let's see if he uses the Fire Blast again. It will make sense, honestly, because this is just going to keep pumping up. I wonder. Me too. I wonder as well. Yep, 
death rattle. Oh, he's gonna. Okay. I mean, that's. He could have done the exact same thing with just. Um, with just the fire blasts. Or, well, pretty much the same thing. Because now I still get 7 damage in. I've got my 6 6 on the board as well. And my enhanced somatic is ready to be deployed. I've got a little bit of removal here with deadly poison. And um, emergency coolant for freeze a minion. So it's it's still okay. I mean, he's, he's got the card advantage, that's true. But uh, I've got good board presence. He's down to 17. So let's see what he decides to do next. Hmm. Alright, he blasts the tank. And... Oh my god, he frostballs that as well. Okay. And that one is out. Alright. Um, let me see. I I'll want to get rid of this. And uh, the reason is because then I guarantee a hit from my ogre over there. And then I'll play two more minions. Job's done. Let's see if he can... Well, he could... He could flame strike with 7 mana, but that won't kill my ogre my ogre ninja. So All right, you could blizzard as well, of course. Bringing him down, that is a bit more dangerous. So what I'll do um, is I'll uh, pump up my knife a little bit with this little guy here like that. That makes 4 damage. <coughs> and then we'll see if he actually does have the flame strike ready. That would be painful if he doesn't. We've got a chance to finish this off. Let's see if he's got it. And if not, I need a good drop, uh, a good card draw here uh, to get good board presence and hopefully be able to do it. That's four damage. That's okay. Emergency. Okay, that's good for some control too. Let me see. Do you have flame strike? But uh, this one is pretty cool too. <coughs> um, for for the rogue, Goblin Auto Barber, give your weapon plus one attack. Um, that's okay, mm. uh, especially for the rogue here. Honestly, for early game control against st stuff like small minion um, warlocks, two damage is is actually very very important. And so ooh, doesn't look like he's gonna be a flame strike. What else does he have then? All right, a flame cannon. That's lucky. And another flame cannon. Alright. Um, well, here we go. Iron Sensei. That's one of the really cool cards. And now I'm dropping Enhanced Matic on this. Which makes for a taunt. And oh my god, that's unfortunate. He gave another um, Wind Fury to that. Because... But now he's, this one is going to pump him up. Ooh, 2, 3, 4. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, a flame strike could still screw me over a little bit. But just one hit point left. That means that uh, dagger mastery is good enough normally. Unless he's got one of those secrets. And that was a little bit of a weird spell. I mean, he had those flame cams a lot earlier. He, sh he could have what? gotten rid of, of the... Um, could have gotten rid of... What's it called? Uh, my spider tank a lot earlier than he did and stuff like that. So it's kind of weird, but okay. Uh, Polly, really? <laughs> Alright. And you know what? Just to show how OP this card is again, <laughs> I'm gonna drop him here again. Boom! Look at that. Two, um, two uh, divine shields. That's just uh, yeah, making it pretty much impossible to... To clear this board now. That's pretty cool. And uh, one of the really powerful mechs in there. So there we go. Nice little win from uh, my small mech rogue deck. Let me quickly show you guys the deck list here. Uh, the game did take a little bit uh, long. Because uh, of my opponent. But alright. My collections. Custom rogue. And here we go. So uh, the philosophy was. Because I really didn't have a very good rogue deck. I just... 
got rid of everything and put all mechs in there. So I've got two deadly poisons. Uh, obviously that is good for early uh, game clearing. Uh, if your opponent plays small minions, then a Clockwork Gnome with a spare uh, spare part card uh, when he dies. Cogmaster, because that one get, gets buffed. That early on combo is pretty good. Uh, two Anayotron, Stunt, Divine Shield, 1-2. Goblin uh, Auto Barber, pretty good. Uh, Mech Warper, 2-3. Makes cost one less, that's pretty damn good. Uh, Micro Machine, if you can keep that alive, like behind the, the Anoyotron that uh, pumps up every single turn, that's pretty potentially very powerful. Uh, flying Machine with Wind Fury. Nomregon Infantry for a little bit of taunt in there. It also has uh, charge, so you can also get rid of something with uh, a 1 2 or something like that. The Iron Sensei, is that a rogue card? That's actually pretty important. To see, yeah, it's actually a rogue card. So uh, that is that is uh, the one that helps a huge amount if you can drop that early on. Uh, at the end of your turn, give another friendly make plus two plus two. Uh, if you know the Annoyatron Iron Sese combo is annoying as hell to get rid of. Uh, that's pretty good if you can then drop a Nomergon Infantry to protect your Sensei again. Pretty damn good. Spider Tank, very solid. Three four for three. Tinkertown um, Technician, honestly becoming a 4-4, pretty good. Enhanced Omecano, overpowered card. I've got two Ogre Ninjas in there. Um, honestly, I may want to switch that out to like another mech or a bigger mech. Uh, but, on the other hand, this 50% chance to attack the wrong enemy also bypasses taunts, which is pretty cool. And then a kill to that, you know, if we come later on and he drops some bigger minions, I've got my kill to that out. Uh, that just means I can keep trading uh, my cards and then uh, Sneed's old Shredder because it's another mech, it's another legendary and uh, it's it's a fun RNG, you know, if, if we get that far and I'm not in a winning position yet, it's time to gamble and something like this is the perfect gamble at that point. So yeah, there you go guys, my small mech rogue deck. Uh, it's been doing surprisingly good, I do think it's because of the Iron Sensei and the uh, Enhanced Somatic there. That, uh, that I've been able to roll pretty well with it. But uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with these new cards. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Valera versus Jaina. You asked for it. Watch your back. Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. And welcome to some Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. And today I'm going to show you guys uh, my new rogue deck. Uh, rogue has always been a pretty bad class for me. But with all the new mechs I've made a small mech rogue deck. And uh, well it's been working pretty decently. It's a lot of fun as well. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Hmm, we could start off with the micro machine right away. That's obvious, uh, pretty obvious target though. So let's see if Lord Tyrannu the mage is going to play anything. Meantime, let's... Oh yeah, let's close that one up. And there it comes. Come on, it's your first move. How much uh, time do you need? Jesus Christ. Uh, so I'll start off with the Cogmaster. Uh, considering the other drops I have, ooh, actually a spider tank next would be pretty good. Um, I can pump that one up to like a 3, 2 pretty easily. So uh, that's that's actually okay I think to open up with this one. And that's been working decently, it's got 2 hit points so it's not like she can just uh, fire blast that one away. Yep, there comes the Fire Blast, so that means I get a 3 damage in right away. Let's see what else drops for me. My Ogre Ninja. So we'll go for a, a strong... Um, a strong mech here first, the Spider Tank, a 3-4. Uh, allow me to do 3 damage right away, and well, if he wants to do nothing and just use the Fire Blast, that's fine by me as well. Because I still have a 3-4 on the board. Looks like uh, it's actually a pretty slow player here. Again, looking at my my uh, hero power. What's the use of that? You know what that is. 
the flying machine, mech with wind fury, that's pretty cool too if you can pump that one up a little bit. And of course my ogre ninja looks pretty cool. And yeah, a very slow player here for uh, for this showcase. Come on, show me what you've got. Come on, how hard can it be now? It's, oh my god, all of that just for the fire blast, really? Uh huh, enhance Umekano, that's pretty good. Honestly, if um, he like plays something, <coughs> and I've got two more on the board, that could be pretty good, so we'll do it. I'll risk that. Um, at some point it's very likely that a flame strike comes out so you do want to press your advantage as quickly as possible um, if he uses a, f uh, a fire blast is it called yeah fire blast on this one that's cool because then he only has two mana left to play with so again it's it's gonna be a hard turn for for our mage I think what am I going to do now what to do what to do yeah exactly um a cone of gold, alright. 